There are many times on the golf course where it's very advantageous to be able to control the trajectory of your shot. I'm going to show you two shots that will enable you to do that. In order to control the trajectory of your shot, it's very important to understand that you want to control your backspin rate. Your backspin is what allows the ball to go up in the air to begin with. As you have more backspin, the ball goes higher, and less backspin, the ball goes lower. You're going to use two variables to control your backspin rate. The, ball, the first one is speed, and the second one is your contact point on the golf ball. To hit the knockdown shot, all you need to do is vary your speed. You can play the ball in the same place in your stance. And the way you're going to vary your speed is you're going to cut down on the length of your follow through. So let's say your follow through in your normal swing is this far. What you'll do on a knockdown shot is you'll finish about like so. This is what it looks like if you do it correctly. And quite often, I like to feel that my right arm is still fully extended at that point. Now, let's say that you're playing in super windy conditions. You might even be playing in Scotland or in Ireland when you're, when you're uh, trying to hit this shot. It's a two or three club wind. What you're going to do is you're going to also control the contact point on the ball and hit higher on the ball. And this is how you do it. There's actually a slight trick to it. What you're going to do is you're going to play the ball between the center of your stance and your right heel. And you're going to set your shaft forward before you place your hands on the club and then you're going to grip the club. That's the trick. The mistake that a lot of people make is they take their normal grip, put it back in their stance, they come into the golf ball with their hands forward and that leaves the face open. So what you're going to do instead is you're going to have your handle way forward, ball position back, you grip the club so you can see I have a very strong grip. If I don't return my hands to in front of the golf ball, then what's going to happen, the ball is going to hook. So what you're going to do to control the speed is you're going to make sure you don't finish any more than parallel to the ground with your follow through. That will really slow the club down through the ball. And here's how the shot looks when you do it correctly. Now that went about 20 or 25 feet in the air and should go right through the wind. Because you're going into the wind, it'll give you the backspin so that when the ball hits the green, it will stop quickly. So that's how you hit a knockdown shot and that's how you hit what I call is a wind shot that goes right underneath the wind. I hope that helps you control the trajectory of your shots.